Okay, in the case of Triple G and Canelo, um, I just wanted to say like, okay, they, they had the, the, the draw in the first fight, but how come we the, the Boxing Commission doesn't allow like an extra round if it's a draw and just settle that problem right there? Instead of getting the rematch, which is a, a short t term game with money, but in the long term, I think it kind of messes up the sport a little. I mean, I understand the health problems and the, you know, and back in, I believe, the 80s where the guy died and or went into a coma, then died, and people were like getting seriously hurt because of all those rounds. But what if we gave them, like, you know, a little bit of rest, some water, and then settled it there? I, would it be better? Would it be worse? What do you think? I mean, I understand that one extra round isn't going to solve every single fight. All the draws aren't going to be, you know, solved that way. But this will, you know, help the percentage of fights will to get solved. It, it will help more fights get solved. Instead of, you know, annoying some of the fans and seeing how they can squeeze some extra money out. And also, they have even rounds. Maybe it would drop the percentage of draws if they had some odd, had odd number of rounds. I mean, there's, there's ways to do this to make it better. Nothing's going to be perfect, but I think this, there is definitely a solution, and why hurt the sport? All right, well, I just want to ask, like, what, what is the point of the Manny Pacquiao and the Floyd Mayweather fight? I mean, they're already out of the prime. Floyd has enough money. Manny Pacquiao, he's a senator. They, they got their, their life going for them. I mean, are people that curious about it? I don't think so. I mean, I haven't talked to anybody that is. I haven't seen any of the Reddit forums or Twitter stuff really going crazy about that. I mean, someone's going to have to explain this one to me. It's like um, we're seeing a resurgence of, of these older guys just wanting to relive their glory days or something. I don't know what's going on. I mean, we got Tito Ortiz and uh, Chuck Liddell also doing that, but uh, Chuck Liddell might actually need the money. I don't know enough about him. Um, Yo, know, UFC, where's the marketing for the Amanda Nunes, Chris Cyborg fight? I need to know. UFC, I mean, I'm, I'm not even really seeing much about the Conor McGregor and the Khabib fight. But, uh, man, you guys, you guys got to work on your marketing, please. Well, what I'm getting at is how are you going to know about the fights if you're not an actual, like, bigger fan? How are the normal people going to know? Because, I mean, if you go to the... The MMA sites, you go to the regular sites, yeah, you're going to know. You're, everybody's going to be talking about this type of stuff, you know. But the regular fans, the guys that just kind of watch the big fights or just want to see something good, they're not going to know. Even the ones that will pay and want to see something good. But they, if they don't know, they, they can't do it, man. Don't hurt, your, don't hurt yourself.